Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought today would be a great day to do my April favorites. I know it's May, but better late than never, right? So we are going to um, just jump in. It's storming outside. I'm in my bedroom. I'm on my floor. So I just figured, why not film a video? So we are going to get into April favorites. There were a lot of like newer things um, this past month that I found that I loved for my hair and my skin um, and um, I have some food and a tea that I've been loving so yeah let's just kind of dive right into it um, first of all let's talk about the makeup because I literally only have two things <gasps> I know, shock, right? Um, so these are the two things, and this is literally the only thing I've been wearing on my eyes this past month. It's super easy, super fast, and it looks really awesome. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Cream um, Longwear Cream Eyeshadow in the shade um, Beach, or Beach Bronze, number 16. And this I have had for a super long time. Um, I realize I, it's probably time to get a new one because it is quite old, um, but I just want to use it up because it was kind of a pricey item, um, and, but oh my god, I'm just like obsessed with this color. So this I thought was pretty much dried out, but um, it's not. So basically it's just like a really nice bronzy brown shade that I take with a pretty fluffy brush and I just um, put it all over my lid and I blend it out really nicely and um, then I smudge it along my bottom lash line too. It just gives really nice definition. It makes my blue eyes really stand out. And then um, to line my eyes for eyeliner, I've been using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Bourbon. And it just looks like this. This is a pretty special liner. It's not just a regular brown. It is brown, but it has some shimmer in it. So this is the brown eyeliner. And I've just been using it to line my eyes and really kind of give it just like a really nice like bronze, like smoky, awesome look. Let's wipe my hands. Gross. Okay. Um, moving on, I have two fragrances that I've been mixing um, this month that I've loved. And the first one is um, Elizabeth and James, their new fragrance in Nirvana. And I know they have two different scents. They have one in the black um, bottle and they have one in the white. The white bottle is more of a fresh scent and the one in the black bottle is definitely more of a nighttime, sexier, uh, deeper, more, I don't know, musky scent, I guess. Um, but I went with the um, white one. And it's just a very nice, fresh, beachy scent. I love it. Um, I think it's great. And I've been layering it with the Midnight Fleur Nest fragrance. And I talked about this in my last video that I picked it up from Sephora along with the little tiny... Um, it came as a set with the little hand cream. And this is just such a special fragrance. I just... I just love it so much like this little bottle when this runs out I will definitely repurchase the full size because I really 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 have been enjoying this fragrance by Nest. Um, I just think these two as a combo is really nice. It gives it a little extra something, um, a little extra depth without being too nighttime appropriate and daytime appropriate. It kind of just is a good marriage of the two scents and I think they each bring out something different in each other, if that makes sense. But mixing fragrances, you guys should really try it. It's kind of a cool thing. Um, and I really have been enjoying this. Um, this is a total, like, random favorite, but I just thought it was really funny. Um, I was shopping in Forever 21 with my cousin, and um, they have that little, like, stand up at the front of the counter where you they just have, like, all these random little doodads that you can buy. Um, so I just purchased a compact. And this is just a mirror, like just a regular compact mirror. But on the front of it, it has a heart. Like, oh, it's so cute. But in the heart it says, you suck. And 
I don't know why, but like seeing this just like it made me laugh so much. And I just, I have just, <laughs> I just really liked it. It was cheap as three dollars. Um, but it just says you suck, and I just thought that was really, I don't know, it's not very nice, but I just thought it was really hilarious, and so it's my cheeky little way of keeping the spirit alive throughout the day. <laughs> anyway, um, getting past that, let's move on to some skincare because I'm pretty excited about all of this. Um, I branched out big time and tried a new facial cleanser. I know, like, oh, it's very scary. My skin is really sensitive. So it was a scary thing, but I, I have actually eased into it throughout, I think, like a two or three month period. Um, and it was scary because my skin definitely reacted to it um, at first, not liking it, not liking the change. But then um, we're, we've worked with it. It's really good. So the product I'm talking about is um, by Dr. Woods. It is a all-natural product. Um, it is the Daily Exfoliating Facial Cleanser for All Skin Types Antioxidant Formula with Black Soap and Shea Butter. And this is 100% natural, 100% vegan, it's paraben, um, paraben free, sulfate free, um, no petroleum, whatever. Um, basically this has is tea tree oil, rosemary, citric acid, has vitamins in it. Um, and this is, tea tree is super good for skin types that tend to break out a lot. Tea tree oil is just a really great product to use. Um, it's it's natural. It's a natural product, so you're not harming your skin by using it. I love the scent of it. This smells really odd. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> I did not like the scent of this at first. Um, and I'm actually still not super crazy about the scent. It actually reminds me, it's kind of a nostalgic scent for me, but in a weird way. Um, so my grandma was a huge, like, natural person, like, um, used all natural products, like, made her own juice, you know, like, really, you know. Um, and I remember spending the night at my grandparents' house sometimes and when I was little and she would have like all these like different like kinds of soaps in the bathroom um the guest bathroom and I just remember them smelling like this very like very natural product very um I don't know it just smells like it does smell like tea tree but not in like the nor I don't know it's just there's something extra in there that I'm just like hmm yeah not super in love with your scent, but super in love with what you've done for my skin. So, my skin um, has definitely been really enjoying using this. Um, and, yeah, I just have nothing but good things to say about this brand. I believe you can get this off of Vitacost.com. Um, and Amazon.com has it as well. It's um, by Dr. Woods Naturals. Um, yeah, so I think they have a couple other cleansers, but... I have read a lot of good things about this one, and especially since as tea tree, my skin is very acne prone and problematic, so um, I really have been liking that. Another skincare product is an oil, and I believe I have mentioned this before, um, maybe in my skincare video from forever ago that I should really update because a lot of things are different. Um, this is from the brand Pie, and I use their daily face cream um, every morning. And Pie is a brand I absolutely love. I would endorse them 100%. Um, I think their products are amazing. They work. They are very sensitive skin types. Um, they don't break me out ever. Um, which is very rare for me to find a skincare product that will not break me out in some kind of way. My skin does not react badly to it. It really enjoys it. Um, this is the Rosehip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend with Vitamin E. It's supposed to visibly improve the appearance of scars, stretch marks, sun damage, and fine lines. Um, I usually, at night, I just use two drops of this rub it into my hands and I pat it into my face. This is my um, this is my oil 
that I use and I'll pat it into my skin and I I actually have noticed a difference using this in my skin um, especially in like I have some acne marks like hyperpigmentation going on um, I have a lot of freckles because that's just like my skin type um, and I have noticed like the acne marks and the hyperpigmentation have been fading since I've been using this um, I really really love this oil the only downside with this is, and I know I have said this before, I absolutely hate this scent. I hate the scent of this. I just, and it's exactly, if you watch my skincare video, you will know exactly what it smells like. It smells... <laughs> it's like, it's like literally if, if maple syrup went bad. It's what it smells like. I just absolutely hate the smell of it. I hate the smell. I mean, I have to hold my nose, but I really love this oil. So to me, it's worth, it's really worth it. Um, and the smell does not linger on your face, so I'm not like gagging throughout the night. But um, I definitely, definitely recommend you check this brand out. They are organic. Um, they are vegan. Um, a lot of their products are gluten-free. Like, I just think as a brand it's amazing you can find them on feel unique like I know they are a London based company so I get it shipped over from the UK so feel unique has this brand uh, beautybay.com has this brand um, yeah but I definitely and I think you can find it on Amazon as well but definitely love this oil um, another skincare favorite and a brand new item in my skincare routine is from Michael Todd. This is the Hydration Boost Facial Serum. Um, this is just for all skin types. Um, they have, I think, two other facial serums, um, but I got the Hydration Boost. Um, this has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, this is a concentrated hydrating serum infused with neem neum, whatever, and essential oils to restore the skin's, skin's optimal moisture balance. Um, this is an interesting product as well. This smells really nice, like really fresh, really great. This is what I use after I do my oil. Um, and I just really find like in the morning my skin feels really like plumped and juicy and really just really nice and like radiant. I really, it has not broken me out either and I just really enjoy using this. Um, I do have oily skin but I do need to moisturize it so at night I do the oil and then I do the serum and my skin has really been enjoying that combo. So these are holy grail for me right now. Let's talk about a hair product. I mentioned this in, I believe, my last video, and this is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the City Swept Finish. I just, uh, let's just give my hair a little zhuzh right now. This is a, basically, wax in a mist spray, and it smells amazing. Like, I, oh my gosh. It just... Oh, it's just beyond, beyond. Anything Bumble and Bumble, I'm just obsessed with. But this smells so nice. So nice. And I love just, like, the texture and grit it gives to my hair. It just, like, gives you, like, third-day hair. I just washed my hair this morning. So it's giving me, like, third-day hair on day one, which I'm obsessed with. Um, it holds up really well. It lasts throughout the day. I really love it. Um, it is expensive, but I do think good products are worth it, you know? And I really just oh, I love this stuff. Mwah, love it. I'm going to take a drink of water. <laughs> P.S. I'm getting kind of parched. It is, no lie, looks like the apocalypse outside. It's very dark. It's pouring, thundering, lightning, all that fun stuff. And we are sitting at about 95% humidity in 80 degrees. I hate the Midwest for that one specific reason. It is so humid here. I cannot stand it. My skin hates it. My hair hates it. I just, I hate humidity. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Take me back to the dry heat of California any day. I absolutely hate this weather. So, little side blurb.
Moving on, I have two TV shows to talk about, and I can't believe I have not talked about one specific one sooner. The first one is Mad Men, and oh my gosh, if you guys haven't started watching Mad Men, they have it on Netflix. They have one through six, seasons one through six on Netflix now. You definitely should check it out. I am obsessed with this show. I got into Mad Men pretty later on, um, and I didn't watch it when it first came out, and I am obsessed. I love, love, love Don Draper. I think he's a very complex character. I think when you first watch the show, you would absolutely hate him because he is kind of a douche, no lie. But I just love seeing his personality and character develop throughout the seasons. It does, it is one of those shows that takes a little bit to get into. Like, you can't just sit down and watch the first two episodes and be like, oh, I'm going to love this TV show. Like, you it really, you really have to get into the show. Um, but I love it. I just, I love, love, love it. Like, I was definitely born in the wrong era. The 60s is my favorite era for, for, I'm, I mean, I'm talking like, um, buildings, like the architecture and the interior design and just like, I just am obsessed with the 60s. I love that time. And this starts off in the 60s and we end in the 70s and we are on the final season now. Like it has just started a couple weeks ago, maybe three or four weeks ago. Every Sunday night, that's what I'm watching. I just... I love it. It's great. It's a really great show. You guys, just check it out. It's really awesome. I love it. Another show that I got into later in life, and not when it first came out, is Sex and the City. I mean, come on. Like, this is such a good show. I am, I am legit hooked on this show, and I watch when it's on TV. Like, that's what I'm watching on TV because they have reruns on all the time. So I definitely am watching that. I picked up season four, five, and six on DVD the other day at Target. They were on clearance for like $8 each. So I snatched those up. I, funny fact, I watched the Sex and the City movies before I ever watched any of the show. Is that weird? I watched the movies first and fell in love with um, especially the first one, which is right here because I just watched it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, I watched the first movie and fell in love with the characters. I'm obsessed with Carrie and Charlotte. They are my absolute favorite. I just can relate to both of them in different ways. And I just, I'm obsessed with them so, so much. And so I watched the movies and kind of fell in love with the show and the characters. And then I started watching the show and just kind of it just uh, the love affair continued it was just I'm obsessed like I just love sorry my nose is like really itchy it's allergy season sorry um I just really love it I think it's a really good show I love the fashion in it I'm obsessed with the fashion in it um and I just love the storyline and I just like it just makes me laugh and I really 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 have enjoyed watching those two shows so those are my show recommendations for girls really I mean Mad Men is for anyone but Sex and the City I mean that's a total like girly show um I have two like random favorites um one is a tea and this is the traditional medicinals um, herbal tea and this is the organic peppermint tea and I am obsessed with this. I love it hot, I love it cold, I love it any time of day, any time of the year. I love peppermint tea. I think it is so refreshing and just really, oh, it's so good and it's really good. This is pretty, um, this brand, Traditional Medicinals, is a really great tea brand. Um, I can get this at my local Hy-Vee in the health food section. I know they have this like online too that you can purchase from Vitacost. You can get it at health food stores. Um, I just really have been enjoying this um, this tea this past month. I 
especially, especially love it iced. I was drinking it iced last night and just really enjoy it. It's a sweeter tea, so it's not, it doesn't need any, I don't use any sweetener in my tea or anything. I just drink it straight black. Um, and this kind of has a sweet, um, a sweeter taste to it, but I just really have loved it. It's very refreshing. Also, a food. This is the Quinn popcorn, the cheddar and chipotle farmed bag popcorn. And you can get this online. I don't know where else you can buy this. Maybe at Whole Foods or like at a co-op. Um, this is freaking the jam. This is the bomb.com, the jam, the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, all those funky little things. This is it. This popcorn is so amazing. I'm so addicting. You just like cannot stop eating it. I just, it's a problem. I need to go to like Popcorn Eaters Anonymous or something. Um, this is a non-GMO verified. It's gluten free. Um, and it has natural ingredients. Um, and basically like the whole story behind Quinn Popcorn is really quite adorable. So I'm just going to quickly like read it to you because it's on the back of the bag. It says... My son Quinn was born. Uh, when my son Quinn was born, I set out on a mission to clean up snacks. I'm fanatical about ingredients and about knowing where my food comes from. The thing is, when it comes to snacks, we're all left in the dark. I want to change that. Using your batch number, you can see exactly what went into making this bag. Snacks with completely with complete transparency. That's a first. We call it farm to bag. And it's so, so, so cool. Like, basically, so I have a batch number up here. I can go online on their website and then see exactly, like, how this specific bag was made and where all my ingredients came from. And I just think it's so awesome. I just love, like, the whole company. I think the brand is super cool. It's a mom that just wanted to make better snacks for her kids. And so she created this amazing popcorn. And I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I believe I will, well, I will for sure put the link in the down bar where you can purchase this. Um, it is quite pricey because it is more of an nat all-natural product, but... You get what you pay for, and it's definitely worth it, and it's delicious. One more thing. I have my beloved Birkenstocks that I just have to just give an honorable mention to because I've been wearing these shoes nonstop. I'm obsessed with Birkenstocks. They are comfortable. They hold up very nicely, um, and if you treat them with care and... Um, they will last a very, very long time, and I, my husband hates them, thinks I'm ridiculous for loving them, but I, oh, I love my Birkenstocks. I believe these are the Arizona style, and I am a size 37, and these are the brown leather with the copper buckle, which I really, really love, and... Yeah, I've just been wearing these all the time and have really been obsessed with them, love them. Definitely check out Birkenstocks. They are worth every penny, I swear. And that is it. We are all done with my April favorites. That was a long time coming and a long video, so I hope you grabbed your tea or your water or whatever you needed. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like this. Give me a thumbs up and um, spread the love, share love down in the comments below, please, nothing negative. Um, I really, 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 really want to say that I super appreciate all the new subscribers that are to my channel that found me through Annalie and Jesse's um, videos in their channel. Because of you guys, um, my video has been shared numerous times and been viewed numerous times, and I can't tell you, Anna and Jesse, what that meant to me that you guys did that. So, um, for all of you who new, are new to my channel, welcome. I would give you all a super huge hug and a huge kiss on the cheek um, if I saw you in real life. And I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and for subscribing. And I really, really, really appreciate it. And I love you all so much. And I can't wait for new things to come and for our relationship to keep growing and blossoming and all that wonderful thing. All that wonderful stuff. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are having a great day. 
I can't stand this rainy, crappy weather, but I hope it's sunny where you guys are, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and liking the video, and sharing it, and yeah, love you guys. Talk to y'all later. Mwah. Bye.